Have you ever run into this problem before where your images just don't have the right color when you bring it into DaVinci Resolve? Maybe even your video clips don't have the right color, but you work in a color managed workflow and you're like, what's going on here? Why does this color look so off? Sometimes I get images that look like this. No. And that's not right. Let me show you how to fix it. It's quick and easy. Check it out. So I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and I've got logos I use all the time here in a power bin. For example, the YouTube logo, it looks pink. What's going on with that? Or I've got the DaVinci Resolve logo and the color is just too saturated, right? What's going on with that? Well, I work in a color managed workflow for my Canon C100 Mark II in log footage. And what happens is by default, all these images are being treated as if they were in part of that color space, which they're actually not. They should be sRGB. So if I come in here and I just control or command A to select all of them, and you can do this with your video clips in your particular project in any bin as well, I'm gonna right click, come down to color space, and I'm gonna change this for these images to be sRGB. So when I click on this, watch our DaVinci Resolve logo, Boom, now our logo looks good. If we check our YouTube logo, okay, that is YouTube red. There we go. Just so you can see the difference here, if I right click on the YouTube logo and I change the input color space back to the project, which I use as Canon Cinema Gamut and Canon Log, now we get our incorrect color for our YouTube logo. So I'm gonna again come back, right click, input color space, back to sRGB, drop it in my timeline, the YouTube logo or any other image that you might have or video clip is gonna look good here in your timeline. So keep that in mind when you're working in a color managed workflow. If something doesn't look right as far as the color of an image or maybe your footage or you've got footage from different types of cameras, make sure you change the input color space for that particular image or clip. So that way it works out good when you drop it in your timeline and things don't look a little out of whack. As always, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else in DaVinci Resolve, drop a comment down below. I do my best to get back to you all. And even if I don't get back to you in the comments, I may include your question on an episode of the DaVinci Resolve podcast. So be on the lookout for that as well. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm off to make more videos for you guys. We'll see ya, peace.